Hello, and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Activity and Mysterious Stories. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a UFO that disappears just before this thing explodes. Again, you know, this video, um, questionable. This video is questionable. Uh, this video is just um, some lights over Dallas. This is a UFO sighting in Brazil. Uh, this is an older video of the UFO that was filmed in Turkey, but this is just a uh, stabilized and, you know, here it's really clear and uh, you can see what, uh, you know, some people are claiming are two grays inside of here. Uh, here is a video of what looks to be a Bigfoot running across a field. Also have this image of a ring that was found inside of a King Tut's tomb. And uh, last, I'd just like to make a comment on all of these images that you see of, you know, these ancient statues holding bags. Just uh, my thoughts on this. Anyway, so uh, let's go to the first image here. Excuse me, let's go to the first video here. Now, let me go full screen. Presumite fa esplodere un treno. Bene, ora andiamo a vedere il video in questione. Now, you watch this thing, there's going to be something that falls off that train, and then right after that falls. That UFO is going to take off. You see that? Now, I again, you know, how I don't know how real this is, but essentially they're just going to replay this thing over and over again. Yeah, you see that light flash? You know, the shaking, this object, I based, okay, look how, look at the focus of this object and compare it to the focus of this object. They look very similar. Right. I'm not if, if this was something else that was layered into a already produced video, you know, I would imagine you would see some type of um, difference around this. If this is a if this is something that was inserted into. But, but then again, they have those. I don't know. I mean, I know they have these apps that will insert UFOs into videos. Here we go. Now watch this thing. It disappears. Boom. Takes off. And it, ex it escapes the explosion. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know. Okay. So now this video here is just, you know, what it says. UFOs over Dallas. Um, nothing special. Now, I don't know if these... UFOs are, you know, like getting into specific shapes because it looks like they're moving in unison there. But, you know, something like this, they could, this could be drones that are just synchronized. Yeah, this isn't one of those videos that, you know, I'm not seeing a UFO maneuver. Nothing spectacular. But anyways, um, that's that for this video. I'll leave a link in the description. You want to check it out. Shows a strange anomaly. Oh, excuse me. This is from Tijuana, Mexico. And you know this, I like, I don't know how old this video is, but you know, something like that has been captured before. 
Oh yeah, you see, when that thing stops like that, that's hard to say that that's a meteor. Because then it just stops. Meteors don't do that. Anyways, uh, I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out. And again, you know, like I said, this is an older video from uh, Kumarans or something like that. I don't remember where it was in Turkey that this was originally uh, taken. Yeah, but it was, you know, it's from 2009, but it's uh, enhanced, stabilized footage. Remember, you had this object that's way out here. And you know, th this footage has um, been analyzed by many different people. It's, it's authentic. I, I, I don't think uh, anyone can, uh, you know, people can claim that it's, it's fake, but they're just making claims. This, you know, this video has definitely been verified. And I think it's interesting that, you know, you got these two it, gr grays or what look like grays in there. But anyways, uh, I'll leave a link to the description and to this video. Okay, now this video here, like I said, you know, this is an old video. And you can see the Sasquatch booking across. So, yeah, and, you know, this, this guy's too far away to really make, or make any determinations whether it's real or not, or at least for me. But I'm definitely a, a, a firm believer that, that Bigfoot exists. I think there are, you know, based on what the re people who do research it, that there are four different species that they've found so far, four distinct species of Bigfoots. I think, yeah, that, you know, why wouldn't there be another hominid species on this on the planet at the, at the same time we're here because if you look back at the at the timeline of uh, human evolution there was never a time on this planet when there was only one hominid species you know if you look yeah go look back at the timeline there were always multiple hominid species and even now we're learning you know um several years ago that there were Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, Homo floresiensis, and Denisovans that all existed at the same time. You know, and those are four different species of hominids. So if this is just another hominid species, you know, that exists at the same time we do, I, I don't understand why that would be so hard to fathom. But anyways, let's go to this video here. Yeah, like I said, you know, yeah, this is it. This... Um, according to, according to this story, this is the most like ancient Egyptian god, Ptah, but why does he look so much like a humanoid? Is he supposed to be this? I don't know what this is. Alien ring found in Tutankhamun's tomb. So uh, I'll leave a link to this video. You can check that out. And last, I want to talk about, you know, this image here. Like, I'm sure many people have seen these images on the net. You know, these um, Sumerian gods and even, like, according to this, is Mesopotamian and Ecuador. This uh, this motif, I guess that's what you call it, or this sim symbolism, it, you know, has been found on several different continents. And um, what I, my theory is that these bags are are bags of seeds. Uh, you know, because this seems to be a pine cone, right? And from my understanding, the ter or, or the phrase "as above, so below" was 
very profound or, or was a saying that was used a lot during this period, you know, as above, so below. Um, I think that these, these gods represent the people that taught these surviving humans after the cataclysm, after the worldwide cataclysm, how to farm again. You know, yeah, I think that's, that's what these guys represent. They went around and taught people how to grow wheat, how to grow corn, how to grow rice. You know, all, all, um, th these are the people that, like I said, that taught the surviving humans after, I, you know, I think that there was a, a flood, um, uh, you know, in like 12,800 years ago, whatever. The ones that um, Graham Hancock talks about, you know, there was a worldwide flood and the humans that survived had to had to relearn you know um how to how to farm and i believe that these aliens are you know or these are yeah not maybe not the aliens but again you know i believe that there are uh, advanced species that live on, in the oceans and inner earth and these guys might have come up and taught the uh the surface monkeys you know how to survive again how to how to farm you know, as above, so below. There's, there. I think this guy's saying, you know, these seeds. If you plant these seeds in the ground, and then you know, eventually, they'll grow into seeds that you know you can use to farm. I don't know. That's just my my thought on these mysterious handbags that uh, people see. You know. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.